Hello everyone, this is Mark Guillermo of 413 Group here again for another 413 review. Like I've mentioned before, I did not learn Filipino martial arts in the Philippines even though I was born and raised there. That seems to be kind of problematic. I think in order for FMA to spread all over the world even more, we have to start from the homeland, where it started, the origin in the Philippines. Senator Mig Zubiri is actually one of the politicians who is helping promote the art of Arnis. We are known all over the world as the go-to country or go-to martial arts for the special forces, Spetsnaz, Green Berets, most SWAT teams in the United States practice, practice FMA. Every other martial arts was getting to be popular in the Philippines. But when I ask people, oh, I'm gonna, I want my kids to be karat, karatistas, I want my kids to be judokans, I want my kids to be jiu-jitsu practitioners, taekwondo experts, and not too many people will tell me, oh, no, I want my, cha- my kid to be a champion or a And so I decided to take another step in my public service career. And you filed a law promoting right. Arnisa. Can you tell us about your, your efforts to promote Arnisa yeah. right now in the Philippines? When I entered the, the Senate in 2007, I was lucky enough to be able to sponsor and author uh, martial arts that I really love, which is Arnisa. We authored the Republic Act 9850, which declares Arnisa as our national martial arts and sport. And I did that to unite all the Arnis practitioners. So I think that having some legislative changes in the government in order to promote Filipino martial arts can have some profound effects on how it's perceived in the Philippines. And a great thing about Senator Mick Zubiri is that he's not just some politician who's like, wow, Filipino martial arts is really cool. We should promote it. No, he's actually a practitioner of Filipino martial arts and he doesn't just practice Filipino martial arts, he's actually a champion, which you see here. Now approaching the third and final round and this is where the action starts to explode more. I think so. Well. Interesting to note in that video of Senator Zubiri is that his armor is actually paper thin. How prominent and relevant is Filipino martial arts in your country, region, or in the place you live in? Let us know in the comments section. You can like it, you can share it, but please subscribe. There's a red button down there, it's called subscribe. Just click it, click it, click it.